What started as protests turn into violence and property damage. It started with this tweet from Fifth and Federal in which the downtown restaurant expressed support for Liberty University President Jerry Falwell Jr.'s idea to put the black face picture from Governor Ralph Northam's college yearbook on breathing masks. Yesterday morning, a peaceful protest took place outside the restaurant, but later, Protests turn violent. We have team coverage for you this morning from Lynchburg. 10 News reporters Shane Dwyer and Megan Woods join us live from downtown Lynchburg. We start off with Shane, who spoke with armed citizens trying to protect the business from protesters. Shane, good morning. Good morning, Patrick and Rachel. This is half a brick right here. We picked this up from the inside of Fifth and Federal here. You can see windows completely shattered. The folks that were here hunkering down inside the building, and we'll tell you more about them in a second, they say all sorts of stuff was coming through. But I want to take you now inside the building. We do have permission from the folks that are in charge here that, to allow us to come in here to show you what the inside of this restaurant looks like. Again, 12 hours ago, there were folks inside this restaurant and out on the patio eating dinner, enjoying a Sunday afternoon. And this is what is left on the inside. Now, we talked about the tweet. There was a gentleman who you're about to hear from who approached the owner of the restaurant here. As you see, they put up seats to try to barricade people from getting in here. He said, I will offer you my services and be armed security and get my team of armed citizens in here to protect this restaurant from the people that are protesting. They were here all day. The protesters were peaceful outside throughout the day. But then again, as you said, as night fell and they closed the restaurant, the armed citizens remained here in the restaurant. That's when things turned ugly. They had to hunker down here inside this restaurant. They tell us they were right behind the bar here. You can see a bunch of the bottles just strewn everywhere as the rocks, the bricks, the objects were just flying in on them again behind the bar here with their guns protecting this building. Let's go ahead and listen now to what the leader of the group that was inside in the building here protecting this had to say about all this happening. So yeah, everybody's just taking cover and you know, and just Somebody came really close to the building, and we had we had to we had to position our firearms, saying, "Look, don't come any close. Don't come in here. Okay? It, you were threatening." And you know they they backed off. And again. This went on starting around in the nine o'clock hour, according to the Lynchburg Police Department. By the time we arrived here on scene, by about 12.30, 12.45, they were still trying to get protesters out of the area. We could still hear glass being shattered and things being thrown here into the building. But again, just complete destruction here of this restaurant, Fifth and Federal, right here at the corner of Fifth and Federal. Patrick and Rachel, a lot of cleaning up to do here this morning, but there still are members of some other folks of the militia, which you'll hear a little bit more about later in the show, that are here protecting this building right now. It's Shane, quite a mess there. What do they think would have happened if people weren't there to defend the building? You know, uh, the gentleman that we spoke to said that there were a couple times where they were here inside the building where the protesters were just baiting them, trying to get them to come out of the building. And he said, in his opinion, that he felt that if they would have exited this building at this at that point, as the protesters were trying to get them to come out of the building, that they would have come in and completely destroyed the building. So his take on this is that, that if this they were not there to protect this building, this building may not be standing right now, Patrick and Rachel. Shane Dwyer, live force in Lynchburg this morning. Shane, thanks so much.